Oh, you caught it. Right here. Have you never seen it? It's kind of Closer. cute. Look at that. We caught a big praying mantis. Let's put it in the house on the plant. Okay. Well, no! I'm making food! Get that away! Come on, you're bigger than her, babe. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's put it on the plant. He got a new home out of the cold, guys. Look at him chilling upside down. How's it hanging? <laughs> Parasite pocket check. Parasite pocket check. Parasite. 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 Parasite pocket check. Where is he even? Oh, there he is. He's right there. Hey, Parasite pocket check. Bruh. Come on, turn him out. Let me see what you got. Bruh. You hear me? He, he's not listening to me, guys. Oh, she's got the spray bottle. No, don't torture him. Quick, get Emma. She's going to torture him. Save the parasite. Save the parasite. But he won't answer. So we gave parasite a nice, wet, juicy piece of corn. And so far, it looks like he's loving it. He's eating that corn up. You liking that corn? I didn't have any corn. Want to know some interesting facts about the praying mantis? Of approximately 2,000 species, almost all are tropical creatures. Just 18 native species are known from the entire North American continent. You're more likely to find an introduced species than you are to find a native praying mantis. It can measure up to 100 millimeters in length. The European mantis is pale green and about half the size of the Chinese mantis. Both the Chinese and European mantis are common in the northeastern U.S. today. They can turn their heads a full 180 degrees, which no other insect can do. They are closely related to cockroaches and termites. Strangely enough, the praying mantis has just one single ear, which is located on the underside of its belly. This means that it cannot discriminate the direction of a sound, nor its frequency. What it can do, however, is detect ultrasound or sound produced by echolocating bats. Studies have shown that praying mantis are quite good at evading bats. A mantis in flight will essentially stop, drop, and roll in midair, dive bombing away from the hungry predator. Not all mantis have an ear, and those that don't are typically flightless, so they don't have to flee flying predators like bats. And the most commonly known fact is that females are known to eat their mates or in the least behead them. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching, and remember to lick that like button. Bye, guys!